you take your hat off. Once you put it down, you want to make sure that the brim is as flat as possible. Once you make sure the brim is as flat as possible, you'll close the cover and then you'll basically tighten it. My name is Staff Sergeant McLean and this is every item in a drill sergeant's uniform. All right, so the first uniform is gonna be the Army Physical Fitness uniform. So first item we have is our short sleeve shirt. Uh, here at the Drill Sergeant Academy, we wear an organizational shirt and a lot of organizations are the same. So here on the back, we have our Drill Sergeant logo and then on top of it, we have our name as well. So DSL standing for Drill Sergeant Leader. On the side uh, here at the Academy, we have what's called a run club. So here it says 70 miles. To achieve 70 miles, all you gotta do is run 70, 85 or 100 miles uh, within a month to put on your uniform. Next up, we have our long sleeve shirt. Similarly, as the short sleeve, name on the back, Drill Sergeant logo. Uh, front, Drill Sergeant logo with the USA DSA on it, standing for United States Army Drill Sergeant Academy. All right, next up, we have our uh, physical fitness trunks, our shorts. We have very standard shorts, has Army on the front and left uh, pocket, and then at the inside, the spandex, you have a part for your ID as well. During the winter months, again, same concept as a shirt and the long sleeve. However, this is a sweater. So same concept, USA DSA on the front with the Drill Sergeant logo. And then also on the back, name at the top with the Drill Sergeant badge right below it. And then the very last piece before we get to the shoes is our Drill Sergeant vest. It's blue and yellow reflective uh, with our names right across the front, uh, front and back piece of the top reflective belt. We are known for having our reflective vests. You can identify any drill sergeant across the field, across the parking lot, just by our vest alone. And then finally, we have our standard issue shoes. Not much to really talk about, just regular running shoes to kind of complete your uniform. So next up, we have our OCP Army Combat Uniform. Our OCP standing for Operational Combat Pattern. Just for clarity, OCP is the pattern. ACU is the uniform, Army Combat Uniform. So first up, on our Army Combat Uniform, we have our top, all right, this is our jacket. On our jacket, we have several key things that kind of distinguishes us from everyone else. So obviously we have our name uh, as worn on the right, and then U.S. Army on the left. Above the U.S. Army, we have uh, badges that we may have occurred over the time span of our careers. Uh, same thing with the pockets. On the very right badge is our drill sergeant badge. Uh, every drill sergeant who graduates this academy earns the right to be called a drill sergeant and is issued a drill sergeant badge. Uh, something else that is very unique to the drill sergeant academy is on the left pocket, we have what's called an instructor badge. Here at the academy, our drill sergeant leaders are essentially instructors of drill sergeants. Next up, we have our pants. Pretty standard cargo pants has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pockets, six on the side and two in the back. At the very bottom, we have our blouses, so you can pull them tighter to make them uh, give that more of a blouse look uh, when you're wearing your boots. All right, next up, we have our boots. Standard issued combat boots uh, to complement your uh, OCPs or ACUs. The color of our boots is coyote brown. So it's the only authorized color that we can wear within our ACU OCP uh, uniform. And then underneath your ACU top, which is what I have on here, uh, you have your tan t-shirt. Uh, basically, that's your coyote brown t-shirt that you'll wear as an undergarment uh, to kind of complete this uniform. So here at the Drill Sergeant Academy, we wear Drill Sergeant belts. So our belts is what signifies uh, who we are and it tells everyone that, hey, we are a Drill Sergeant leader. Drill Sergeants on the trail who are not here at the Academy instructing, they get their hat and their badge. When you come up here to be a Drill Sergeant leader and you go through your certification process, you earn uh, the right to wear the Drill Sergeant belt. Uh, there are different colors of the belt, different stages. You start out with the tan belt, and then as you progress to senior drill sergeant, you get this belt right here. Uh, the only difference between myself and the senior drill sergeant is I am the Drill Sergeant Academy's uh, DSOR, which is the drill sergeant of the year. So I also wear a green belt. 
everyone in the academy who is currently a drill sergeant, whether it be the commandant, deputy commandant, the chief instructors, which are the first arts, all wear the campaign hat and the belt. So the next uniform we're gonna talk about is the Army Green Service Uniform, AGSUs, more popularly known as the pinks and greens. So first up, we have our brown coyote boots, our Oxfords that we wear. The socks that we wear with this particular boot is the same color, more or less. And next up, we have our pants. Our typical dress pants that you know you would find in any other men's warehouse. With the pants, when you're wearing them, uh, you want no more than two creases, or two breaks, excuse me, at the bottom of your pants. So as you're wearing them, that's a break, that's a break. That's it, no more than two breaks. All right, next up, we have our uh, belt that we use with this particular pants. Uh, no really set way of putting it together. However, you want no more than two inches of excess once you put the belt into configuration. Next up, you have your long sleeve and short sleeve uh, shirt. Both shirts uh, have our ranks stitched on both sleeves. In the summer months, when it gets hot, um, we do have the option of wearing what we call tropical uniform, tropical variation of the uh, pinks and greens, where we will wear the shirt, the pants, belt, shoes, uh, and then our name tapes and the top six awards uh, will go on our top of our left breast pocket. Next up, we have our tie. Uh, pretty standard issue tie. There's three different type of knots that are authorized when we're wearing our pinks and greens. One is a uh, half Windsor, two full Windsor, and the last one is four in hand tie. So finally, we have what we call our overcoat, which is the highlight of the uniform. Um, it shows all of our awards and decorations. It makes the, completes the uniform over time. On the left side, we have all of our awards that we are awarded, um, as well as any badges, same as our OCP uniforms as I'm wearing now. On the right hand side, we are authorized to have a foreign badge, one foreign badge on our uniform. This particular foreign badge is the Norwegian Ruck Marches. To earn this badge, uh, you gotta ruck 18.6 miles. Now there's other badges out there as well, i.e. foreign jump wings and things of that nature. On the coat as well, there is a belt that's already built in to give you that more of a tapered look. So typically, we would wear this for uh, ceremonial purposes. What are some ceremonies that you would wear? So as a drill sergeant, we would typically wear these during uh, graduations, uh, during family days, uh, maybe in processing pickup, uh, we would wear our pinks and greens uh, just to show them, hey, look, this is what right looks like. So to top off, uh, the pinks and greens, a drill sergeant, obviously we're known for our drill sergeant hat, our campaign hat. So um, we are authorized to wear our campaign hats uh, with our pinks and greens. Uh, every drill sergeant uh, is not necessarily issued a hat press, sort of like this one. Um, however, it is highly recommended for each drill sergeant to get a hat press in order to protect their hats from the elements. Um, hat presses ranges anywhere from um, 80 to 150 dollars um, and you can get them as personable as possible. This is basically a standard issued hat press um, and most drill sergeants if not all like myself um, have two. One that's standard issue and one that's more personalized. So like for my personal one I have my name, I have um, air assault badge, airborne badge uh, and a few other things that are on it as well that makes it personable to me. How does it work? So basically um, every mechanism is different however for this one you'll unscrew it, you'll take your hat off, you'll tuck the straps in, once you put it down, you want to make sure that the brim is as flat as possible. Once you make sure the brim is as flat as possible, you'll close the cover, and then you'll basically tighten it. How often do you use it? It is recommended for a drill to use it every day. Um, as soon as you get home, go ahead and throw that hat in the hat press. Um, for me, every chance I get, uh, if it rains outside and I don't have my hat cover uh, to protect it from the rain and from the elements, um, as soon as I get inside, I'll throw it in the hat press just to make sure that it maintains that flat brim. And this is every item that a drill sergeant wears.